is Apostle Deanna Dixon with another short excerpt for you. Um, God was saying, and this is entitled, Elevation Must Bring Separation. We're in a season to where God is wrecking his people on purpose. Everything is not the devil. And if things that are of the devil, God is allowing it to build you up mentally, spiritually, to toughen you up for what's to come, to toughen you up for your destiny. Some of us are a forerunner. Some of you are going to lead people to revival. Some of you are going to lead people to Christ like never before. Perilous times are coming, but also there's a great awakening in the land. I see revival. I see people getting saved left and right. I'm telling you, it's going to be a joy and a pain. We're back in biblical days, thus said the Lord. We're back in biblical days. You might want to start reading in Genesis, Pharaoh times. You have a high Pharaoh that's about to take place. He is going to be like a king. It's going to be very dominant. I'm not kidding. Oh my God, you guys are not ready. You better get ready. But God was saying a lot of you are fighting him in the spirit saying, why God, why God, why do people leave me when I, when I really need them? Why are my family acting this way? Why are my friends? Why is my husband? Why is my wife? Why are my children? God said, you're having an Abraham experience. You're having a Joseph experience. You're having a David experience. You're having an Esther experience. You're having a Moses experience. Everybody that God created for greatness, they had to go and separate themselves. You're having a Jesus experience. Why do you think Jesus went away so many times to pray alone? It wasn't that he didn't love the disciples. He was getting straight from the Father. He was praying to the Father. Father God, you know this cup that I'm about to drink and I will not be able to bear it apart from you. So I, I need you to prepare me mentally, physically, but spiritually more so God. And that's what God is doing. Hallelujah. So elevation must bring separation. But God said he's going to be with you. That's why he called Abraham. He called Abraham. He said, get from by thy family. And then he tried to take Lot. So even when you take, try to take somebody, something will happen to where you have to separate Abraham and Lot could not stay together. Come on, somebody, read, read your Bible. Moses got separated from Pharaoh, Pharaoh's house. Because I, I, have, I, have, a, I have something for you to do. That's, you're going to have to free my people. You're going to be Moses the deliverer. Joseph. Joseph was allowed to get thrown in the pit because I, I, I know this is going to hurt you. And I know you're not going to like it. It's going to feel uncomfortable. And you're going to cry. And you're going to ask, why me? He said, but I got a test for you. And it's greater than where you're at now. Esther. Esther was stolen at night. Oh, but she, she was the one that saved her people, the Jews. Come on, somebody, Mordecai, say, maybe you have come into the kingdom for such a time as this. And don't think if you don't open your mouth that it won't touch you too. And that's how some of you are. You're thinking if you don't, if you don't read it, if you don't listen to the, the prophecies, it's not going to happen. And I heard one lady say, well, you know, if we pray it away, ma'am. I'm not trying to be funny. That's not going to happen. The scriptures must be fulfilled. I don't understand if y'all don't know how God really flows. Whatever God said, it must come to pass. We cannot pray this thing away. God bless you. David had to separate from Jonathan. When, and, and Jonathan loved David. So it doesn't mean that the person is bad. It doesn't mean one is greater or lesser than the other one. It's just that elevation must bring separation because God is calling you to a place of greatness. And does it feel good? No. Will it hurt? Yes. Will it feel like 